Let me just preface this by saying that everything that's going to be discussed in this video is just my opinion on things. So um, if you disagree with what's going to be happening in this video, that's cool. So Christmas is coming around the corner. Maybe you know some artists in your life and you're thinking about, hmm, what should I get them for Christmas? So um, I tried to look this up. There is literally nothing Googleable about the worst gifts that you could possibly give an artist. So I did some digging in my own brain of the things that I would hate to receive or be very uncomfortable receiving as a Christmas gift coming from a lifelong, lifelong artist. So if you're interested, keep on watching. So the first thing that came to my head was number two pencils. Like the wooden ones, like the ones that like, you know, you would use to do standardized tests in school. Don't do that. If you're gonna go with a standard pencil, go for a mechanical pencil. Those are, those last way longer and um, aren't shit. So please, please don't buy me number two pencils. I get that they're cheap, but you can only do so much with it. It does not, you can't get any depth with it. It smudges when you don't want it to smudge. Half the time the erasers are like rock hard and it just, it's a fucking mess. Please don't do it. With that same vein of um, cheap art supplies, stay away from Crayola, Rose Art, and any of like the generic things like that. Unless someone like explicitly states that they're very fond of Crayola because chances are they're not. There is a reason why there are more expensive alternatives to like colored pencils and markers and regular pencils and oil pastels and all the sort. I mean this with my whole heart. If I see anything <laughs> with the Starry Night or Mona Lisa on it again as a gift because it's like, oh my god, a famous artwork. It's because you're an artist. We don't like that. We've seen the Mona Lisa. We've seen Starry Night far too many times. This may be like a super easy gift to give to an artist because it's like the first thing that often comes to mind, like a little variety pack, like the wood art set. Please stop. They were cool when I was a child, but then learning that like half that shit does not fucking work, just please don't. Artsy sucks. Though some people may find them cute, I do not. Any artsy socks are just a no-go. If there's socks with Bob Ross on them, Starry Night, Mona Lisa, fucking any other type of art reference to it, it just seems like a very easy and thoughtless gift other than like, haha, she like him because she's an artist, <laughs> keep your feet warm. So this one is just specific to me, um, a smock or like an apron, like why? Really? I could just use an old t-shirt. Don't get me wrong, I love mugs. I have a cup right here. I do not like art-related mugs. Specifically if they just have like artistic words on it, like, I'm an artist. <laughs> mm. Like, any type of art reference in words on a mug are ugly as hell. But if it's like a cute pattern or like something that is artsy in its nature that isn't just a print of a famous artwork or a famous painting, Sure, but like be very careful when you buy an artist a mug. I think most people actually like this, but I hate them because I never know what to do with them. The, the mini stretched canvases, like the super little ones like this big. What the fuck do you expect me to do with that? I'm not a detailed fine painter. What do you want me to do? These two are probably the fucking worst ones that you can get an artist ever. The color wheel or a color palette book. Wanna know why those fucking suck? Because we can just look it up. I work in black and white most of the time, but I still know color theory. And if I'm unsure, and if I don't know what kind of color palette to use, I do a quick Google search. I don't need the physical thing. You're wasting your money. Stop it. This next gift is not good for like people who have artistic experience, but it could be good for beginners. So any how-to art books, don't do it. I get that this is cute, but it's just such a, it's just such a cop out. Anything that has a paint palette or a pencil on it, like a necklace, 
a bracelet, an ornament, a keychain. Why is that? Why is like a paintbrush and a paint palette like the first thing that comes to mind when you say artist? There are so many different types of artists, not just a painter. I understand, but whatever. And then finally, cheap clay. Like, Play-Doh? Are you fucking kidding me? What do you want me to do with that? So yeah, that's about it. Um, there's your guide of don'ts for um, the artist in your life and if you're struggling to come up with a gift. So literally anything else would be fine. Any type of art supplies would be fine. You know, like film for a camera, you know, a new lens, a bag. Um, a sketchbook, like watercolor paper, good quality brushes, good quality pencils, um, like an easel or something that they can use and that they'll love, you know what I mean? Or honestly, just ask them. So that is it for today's video. If you guys like to give it a thumbs up. And if you don't like it, then I won't know because YouTube updated everything and I can't see dislikes anymore, so... Great! <laughs> um, anyway, um... Subscribe to my channel down below. I try to make new videos as often as I can. And as always, I hope you guys had a great time watching this video because I had a great time making it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.